All right, what's happening, guys? We're just going to do a quick video here and show you guys the air system that we have set up on my uh, 275s and the 135. I'm running 285 gallons of water filtered with only tw 20 watts. Up here, we have our diaphragm air pump. 20 watts, about 36 liters per minute, goes down with some braided 3 8 inch tubing to a uh, plastic manifold right there, split into six. I have one of those split into two, another one that goes over and then splits into two. Both of those splits run into uh, each of the 75s. I'm using four of my DIY sponges in the 135, two in the 75, and then two of the uh, manufactured XY380s in the other 75. This thing's running great. Um, like I said, 20 watts filtering 285 gallons of water. I'm using drip irrigation ball valves to adjust my flow to each tank because, uh, you know, flow to each tank is different between, you know, depth the water has to go, you know, and whatnot. So you've got to be able to adjust everything to uh, equalize the pressure into each one. So, like I said, this one runs to the 75, this one goes to another 75, these four run up to the uh, 135. Eventually, I'll replace that with an 8, eight gang manifold with uh, ball valves on it, a metal one. Uh, that are just a little bit better made than the plastic, which uh, I think will eventually leak. I also took out all the heaters out of these tanks. I'm heating the room. I'm heating the room to 78 degrees. I adjusted the temperature on my drip system to about 70 degrees. So instead of heating the tanks individually, I'm heating the room as a collective unit, and that will in turn heat the tanks. So in a sense, I'm not running any electric uh, voltage through any, any of these three tanks right now. The only thing that's running into the tanks is airlines, uh, which come from the pump. So, very excited to have this set up. Figured I'd want to show it to you guys. Um, I'm going to do the fish room in two different halves. This half is already basically done. I'll do the same, basically the same thing over here running. I'll probably run six sponges in the 225, another four in the 150, and then that'll also run the uh, 29 down there. But like I said, air system is set up, running on the tanks, doing great. I've got eight, eight, um, what's it called? Wow, I've got eight sponges running currently. I could probably bump that up to 10. Um, the pump's doing great. Like I said, 20 watt pump, pumping 36 liters per minute. So not a high volume pump, but not, you know, it's going to handle exactly what I want it to do. Uh, as far as hot to the touch goes, we're not too bad. Vibration is a minimum. Sound, it's not a very loud pump. Sound is at a minimum, so you know these legs do a great job at dampening the vibration. This setup that I have it on now with just the two by four, it's uh, screwed down, and the clamp that's that's all temporary. I'll figure something else out, possibly a shelf on the wall or something, to uh, you know make that a little cleaner and look better. But as far as the functionality goes, we're functioning at 100% and I'm absolutely loving it, having a great time. Like I said, I'm not running any electricity into the tanks, only using 20 watts to filter 285 gallons in aquariums. That's a pretty good uh, watts per gallon type of deal and I'm having a great time with it. Loving it for all of you out there. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for watching the video. This is an Elemental O2 pump, got it off eBay. It's rated at 571 gallons per hour, and when you do the math, factor that down to liters, it's 36 liters per minute, and I think like 2,200 and something, 2,100 and something liters per hour, you know. So uh, having a great time. My DIY sponges are running like champs. I'm loving the design on those. Those only cost me about four bucks a piece. The pump was about $33, about eight to $10 in, uh, uh, drip irrigation fittings and whatnot, and that's basically the entire setup. And it's running, like I said, almost 300 gallons in aquariums all by itself and doing great. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, like the video if you like the video, of course. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.